Good Thursday evening, everybody. I got some new important information in regards to this big, nasty winter storm coming for Sunday into Monday for the Northeast. And then latest models have uptrended yet again on this nasty winter storm developing Monday night all the way through Wednesday across the Deep South, the Southeast, and the Eastern Seaboard. So with that being said, here's a look at the very latest 18Z ECMWF Euro model for Saturday morning, January the 18th, 2025. And what it's showing us right here is the development of that winter storm. But it's going to get really bad on Sunday. This is just the first piece of energy that's going to be ejecting into uh, out of the Midwest into the Great Lakes. And what it's showing us is a little bit of snow in some areas. This is not a super cold system where we're going to see widespread snowfall, nor are we going to see any freezing rain with this. It's just going to be snow and rain with this first batch of moisture. So like northern Indiana, central Indiana, central Ohio, as well as, say, Kentucky and portions of western North Carolina, you're going to have the best chances of seeing a little bit of snow with this first system as it moves through. And then by Saturday afternoon and evening on the 18th of January, it is going to be moving into upstate New York, into the extreme northeastern region, where there's going to be some light to moderate snowfall. Now keep in mind, some lake effect snow is anticipated with this, so some areas could get much heavier snowfall amounts than what the system actually produces, so keep that in mind for your Saturday evening. But it's going to be down here in the Appalachian Mountains where we typically get these surface lows to develop and the upper level energy tries to consolidate into a more organized fashion. That's what we see here on the Euro for Sunday morning where we have a little bit of snowfall that develops here over portions of Kentucky. This is that secondary low pressure system that's going to re-amplify along this cold front. And when we move this forward, you can see how it really takes off into Sunday afternoon into the evening hours. Now, while the European model is not super aggressive on this, the GFS and the Canadian models that I'm about to show you are much more aggressive on this system, especially for this area right in here that could see the heaviest snowfall. Now, when looking at the latest GFS model, this is the 18Z run from Thursday afternoon. And yes, it is painting a snowy picture across northern Indiana, northern Ohio, into Pennsylvania, and portions of Detroit. Detroit, Michigan with again similar snow amounts like what the European model is showing. So the Euro and the GFS really agreeing well that this system is going to exist here by Saturday morning. But that's not all. As this gets into the northeast like we showed you on the Euro, it is still showing some light to moderate snowfall across upstate New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine for Saturday afternoon here on the 18th day of January. But this is when it gets interesting, just like our European model. We get a revigoration to the Barrow Clinic frontal boundary over the southeastern United States. So as we move forward, see this little blue shield of snow? This is going to be that system that develops rapidly as it moves into the northeast. Similar kind of what we would have with past nor'easters other than this is going to be a much weaker nor'easter that's going to bring in a lot of the snow for the northeast but it could be a lot worse you know so when we put this into motion by sunday afternoon yes new jersey that is some moderate to perhaps heavy snowfall over the i-95 corridor as well as say if you are in delaware if you are in say uh, Maryland, as well as say Virginia, including for Connecticut, Massachusetts, Long Island, City Island, as well as Nantucket, you're going to get the moderate to heavy snowfall Sunday afternoon into the evening hours. And then that continues to move into the extreme northeast like Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine by Sunday night into Monday morning, and then leaves the area by the time we go into Monday early afternoon. Now keep in mind, there is going to be a lot of lake effect snow on the backside of this winter storm because we're going to have a lot of extreme Arctic air moving over these Great Lakes. So yes, if you're in a lake effect prone snow area, this is going to be a big deal for your location. Now when looking at the 12Z Canadian model, this is the gym model that I like to involve here in my YouTube videos. And it, again, it is showing the similar setup here with snow across the upper Midwest into the Great Lakes region like Detroit, northern Indiana, northern Ohio, 
for Saturday morning, getting a little bit of snowfall. And then this amplifies just a little bit more as it gets into the northeast. Now, I don't want to confuse you all. This is not the system that's going to bring in the significant snowfall on Saturday. It's going to bring a little bit, but it's going to get revigorated by that second push of colder air and moisture over the Appalachians. And you can see that here by Sunday morning, that snow really grows in intensity here. Even some lake effect snow coming off of Lake Michigan, that's telling us there's a lot of cold air, colder air coming in out of the north. And that really helps to amplify the system a little bit more. And then the Canadian model being the most bullish here, showing the heaviest snowfall, but across central, northern New Jersey, Pennsylvania, as well as possibly New York City here. This could move all around just a little bit. Connecticut, Massachusetts, if you're in Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, you're going to get the snow. And again, that timing is going to be Sunday afternoon all the way through early Monday morning. And then on the back side, there's your lake effect snow coming in. Now, quickly looking at those snowfall totals just for the Saturdays and Sundays storm system that's going to be moving across the Great Lakes and the Northeast. We're expecting roughly between about three to six inches of snowfall on the European model. That's what it's showing here for downtown New York area, which is pretty decent given that you have not had hardly any snow so far this winter season. The Great Lakes, you're expecting up to maybe a foot of snowfall because the lake effect, we've ta been talking about that, with the lake effect going to amplify things a little bit more. Looking at the GFS model, this is a little bit more bullish, especially over downtown New York where central New Jersey, downtown New York, southern New York State, as well as if you're in Massachusetts, Connecticut, Long Island, you could get anywhere between about three to eight inches of snowfall in this given area. Some of the Great Lakes here like er uh, Lake Erie, Lake Ontario, you might see up to a foot of snowfall due to the lake effect snow that comes in on the backside once that colder air comes in out of Canada. It moves over these warm lake waters. It's going to really squeeze out the moisture and then maybe up to a foot of snow in portions of West Virginia. Now looking at the Canadian model, this is the more bullish forecast and it's pretty bullish and concerning with our second system that we'll be talking about here in just a second, but it is showing us right now for the first uh, system on Saturday and Sunday combined, we're looking at anywhere between about 6 to maybe 12 inches of snowfall. So this has uptrended notably over the last several runs. If you remember yesterday, actually, if we look at the, let's go to the GFS. We can see in yesterday's runs, it was barely showing anything. 06Z, 12Z, and now the 18Z. So it has uptrended just a little bit in the last four to five model runs of the GFS. And here it is on the Canadian model showing something similar. Now on the Icon, it is also showing about three to six inches of snowfall across downtown New York, as well as the extreme Northeast. So yes, this has uptrended, unfortunately, and that's why we're making an afternoon video on this particular system. Now that we talked about the major winter storm for this weekend for the Northeast and for the Great Lakes, we need to talk about what is coming up for Monday night all the way through Wednesday and now possibly into Thursday with a very significant winter storm, something that the Deep South has not seen yet this winter time. So I'm pretty concerned about this one. So to start off, here's a look at the European model. Again, this is the 18Z run. And what we're looking for is over here in Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Arkansas, because this system is going to quickly develop. And you can see here, all of a sudden, this is back in the modeling versus what we had last night. If you remember my video last yesterday, when we looked at the last 18Z run, it showed this still, and then it went away. Then it kind of downtrended, and I'm like, wow, interesting that it downtrended. Now in the last couple of runs, it has now been brought back. So we will see if the 0Z continues to uptrend on this, and therefore make another video tomorrow morning on this winter storm because this is going to make a lot of headlines there there's gonna be a lot of ice potentially down here in um say houston and corpus christi texas very heavily populated area in louisiana here for tuesday there's gonna be a lot of snow too so yeah this is very far south to see this m amount of snowfall to fall in these given areas. I mean, this is a subtropical, if not tropical region, and yet you're gonna be dealing with snow 
on Tuesday next week. So now looking at um, Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday, there is a system and look at how heavy that snowfall is going to be over Georgia, southern Alabama, southern Mississippi, northern Florida. Comparatively from last night's 0-0 run, it didn't show anything. This is why we cannot let our guard down thinking that, oh, one model run, it's not there doesn't mean that's what's actually going to happen. Remember, we need to get the weather balloons out on this so it feeds the data into the numerical models. Remember, these models run on mathematical equations. And in fact, I might make a separate video on that one of these days on what weather models are and how to interpret these. So that moves into the southeast by Wednesday morning, bringing a lot of snowfall. And again, there's your pink area. That's the ice accumulation that Florida may be dealing with. Now, most importantly, the GFS has uptrended significantly on this winter storm too. It's been the only one that's been an outlier and now it's uptrending. So now that raises huge concerns what may be on the dinner plate for early next week. So this is a look at the GFS initialization on the 18Z run. And you can see for Houston, Texas, for Corpus Christi, for Southern Louisiana, there is that significant snow that develops Tuesday morning. So for your morning commute, you're going to be dealing with potential lots of snowfall and some much colder temperatures. And then really, the GFS is least aggressive on this versus the European model, but it's catching up. Remember, if we look at our as 12Z run, it did not show hardly anything at all. Now look at this run. It went north. So we will see if that continues on our 0Z runs tonight, and if not on our 06Z runs. Now the most bullish model ever on this winter storm remains the Canadian model. This is the gym model that we used with at Nor'easter that's coming up for Sunday for the Northeast. So looking at this model, yeah, it's, it's, it's really concerning. This is very, very bullish, and I am just shocked I'm speechless at this time on how consistent this has been. If you watch my videos a couple and if not a few days ago, you remember me showing this model and it's been really consistently showing a big, nasty, ugly, extreme potential wind storm or a winter storm for Texas. All right, for the deep south, it moves across that area by Tuesday night and a Wednesday and then moves into the southeast and golly word, folks. If this pans out and I don't want to fear monger, I don't want to cause panic, please, I I'm not here for that. I'm not here to get views. I'm not here to get the subscribers. I'm extrapolating what the models are telling me. And I'm telling you right now, if the Canadian model comes true on this winter storm, this will make serious headlines all across the country. So this is the concern here. And this even moves into the Northeast, perhaps, as a pretty good snow uh, storm, including for the eastern seaboard. The mid-Atlantic could get some big-time snowfall out of this. So yes, the Canadian, unfortunately, is really bullish and really, really consistent amongst the last few model day of runs. Now, looking at the snowfall totals with this big system coming up for Monday into Wednesday, you can see for the deep south, this is how much snowfall you're going to be expecting, potentially up to about three to six inches of snowfall. While that doesn't seem like a whole lot, a lot of infrastructure roads down here are not ready for such a winter storm of this magnitude. Looking at the GFS model, um, Houston, Texas, yeah, southeastern Texas, including for southern Louisiana, you might get up to three to six inches of snow also. So yeah. This has been uptrending, and if we look at the 12Z run from this morning on the Euro and the model run before that, you can definitely see how this has really uptrended. Even the GFS in recent runs has been showing this, that snowstorm moving northward. Now the most bullish model of all time. This is very aggressive. I'm not putting a whole lot of money and bet into this forecast because it is sniffing out two feet of snowfall in the deep south. This is very, very aggressive. And I'm still thinking up to about six inches of snowfall is anticipated. But specifically on this model, yeah, maybe a foot to a foot and a half of snowfall for 
Eastern Texas into Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and the Carolinas. This would be a serious if this actually comes to pass. And it's not just the Canadian model. Look at the Icon model, also quite bullish here. The German model, that is, from Central Texas all the way points north, east, northeast into the Carolinas. It is still showing four to eight inches of snowfall for metropolitan areas, including the, the, uh, in the Carolinas, as well as, again, portions here of near Mobile, Alabama. So yeah, now how much ice are you expecting for the southeast, like Florida and southeastern Georgia? You might see quite a bit of ice for southern Texas, also light to moderate ice amounts. This could lead to power outages and some huge travel disruption. Even the Canadian is agreeing with the European model with how much ice accumulates. So that is why I'm really concerned of what the Canadian model is showing. It's been really consistently showing this big ice storm for the deep south and also for southern Texas and Louisiana. And again, a heavy ice amounts will lead to widespread power outages. But anyways, if you found this video really helpful, detailed, and informative, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and hit the like button right now if you did enjoy the video, and leave a comment in the section below this video. As always, because of how significant this winter storm developing by the early to the middle of next week is, we will most likely have another video out tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you're up and ready to go to receive notifications when that video gets released. As always, thank you all for watching this video, and I'll be back with you more tomorrow morning.